everyone. Welcome to the first NTA Word Truck Show virtual booth. We are sad we can't be in person, but hey, our virtual booth is the next best thing. My name's Ashley Perkins, Marketing Manager here at Easy Stack, and today we have Paul Lawrenson, Director of Business Development. We have Shannon Lawrenson. Say hi, Shan. Hey, everyone. Marketing Coordinator. And we have Calvin Lawrenson, our Business Development Coordinator. Hello, everyone. He is on standby for any questions you may have during this 15 minute live presentation. So feel free to ask during uh, the chat that you have on right there. So before we get started, we're gonna walk you through this 53 foot office trailer. We have a communications trailer we wanna show you and we'll answer some questions on how to properly spec your trailer for your fleet. Now, Paul, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about Easy Stack for those that are first time seeing us. Very good, thank you, Ashley, and welcome to the Work Truck Show. Again, next best thing, really missing traveling, but we're gonna make the most of this time, and thank you for joining. So Easy Stack has been in business since 1998, optimizing and maximizing workspace for mobile work trucks and trailers, and we work on the whole premise of consult, design, and deliver. We're standing in our Kingston facility right now, and just south of the border, we have a new facility in Watertown, state-of-the-art with powder coat and many, many install bays. So, Ashley, where do we go from here? <laughs> Great, so let's tell our audience what to really expect when they're specking and designing their fleet trailer. Great, oh, that's, that's really important. So, first things first, always, when you're starting to look at how to spec out and, and lay out your new trailer, Think about trailer size. How big, how small, what's kind of the parameters you gotta stay within. Next thing is axle weight, critical. What's the GVW requirement? How big is the, the tow motor that you're using, truck or uh, service body? Again, axle capacity, critical. What kind of equipment are you carrying? Tools, um, safety equipment. How many people are gonna be on board? How many people are gonna be working in the trailer? Is it gonna be an office trailer? Is it gonna be workspace or a little bit of both? What kind of weather are you gonna be encountering? HVAC is so important. Heating, air conditioning, ventilation, working conditions. Uh, is it gonna be a, a storm environment? Is it gonna be a disaster relief? Is it just gonna be a substation or a construction site? And then finally, power. What do you need for power? Generator, shore power, uh, battery, hybrid, solar so these are just some of the things we need to think about actually it's a lot to think about but we're definitely here through the consultative process to make sure that we cover all these specifications with you so during these times our customers have been able to take this trailer and use it for multi-purpose so can you just explain some of the examples that our customers have been using this trailer for sure so behind us for example we have an office trailer as you can see with the new COVID restrictions and, and critical nature of how far apart we stay from each other just for health and safety, we have a trailer that can be used for uh, substation maintenance, it can be used for disaster relief, for storm response, it can be used for command applications. It's so versatile. So with a trailer, what are some of the long-term savings or maintenance costs with going with the trailer instead of a chassis? Well, the great thing first about a trailer is its longevity. So a lot of the trailers we built have a 30 year life cycle and they will more than exceed that. Secondly is the initial registration. Uh, it doesn't cost near as much to register a trailer as opposed to a chassis. And finally, the yearly maintenance costs. So you don't have the oil changes and the lubrication so frequently. Uh, it's just overall a lot uh, less cost to operate and keep. Right. Now, if you have any questions, Calvin is still standing by, so feel free to type in and we'll answer as Paul goes through the 53 foot office trailer. So here we go, come on in. So right now we're going down the curb side of the trailer. I'm sorry, the street side of the trailer. And we have a office space here. And again, there's about eight or 10 office spaces here. They all have a countertop, a drawer system, and a locker. And inside the locker, we have hooks and a coat bar and a shelf for all your personal gear. Coming down the street side, 
We have a little kitchenette with a water cooler, a closet for supplies, a microwave, a fridge and freezer combination, a large standing work area, great for drafting table, the layout plans and maps, overhead storage for binders and books, more drawer space and tool hooks. As you can see above us is ducting for the barred unit at the front. The barred unit is thermostat controlled for heat and air conditioning and ventilation. And again, all your supply and your return and your diffusers to give nice even cooling and heating to the trailer and its occupants. Closer to the floor is electric heaters with their own thermostats. And coming back down the curb side of the trailer, another kitchenette, refrigerator freezer combination, microwave, programmable thermostat for the barred air conditioner. Your battery and battery charger for all your 12 volt lights. All the switches have lanikin labels, letting you know what they're there for. A fully certified breaker panel with shore power. Your side door to the exterior. With a beautiful landing, removable staircase and storable railings. Continuing down the curb side of the trailer, workstations, chests, lockers, and every workstation has a slider window giving you both light ventilation and vision to the outside. Every work table as well has a receptacle with USB ports. Thank you for coming through one of the finest trailers you will ever see and stay tuned because I want to take you through a command slash communication trailer that's heading to the fine city of New York. Welcome back. We are now in the command area of this 20 foot trailer. I'd like to take you for a short tour and highlight some of the unique features of this build. Starting at the rear, we have a side entry door entering from the curbside. Behind the white paneling is polyurethane spray insulation. This creates a very dense foam along with a vapor barrier, preventing any moisture or mildew issues in the future. The paneling is very bright and white and a PVC coated birch. All our switches have lamekin labels indicating what they are used for. All perimeter corners and ceiling to wall connection have beveled trim housing both wiring and finishing the edges. Towards the floor we have electric thermostat controlled heaters. Along the curbside wall under the white boards is a long bench. The bench seat is hinged, allowing for extra storage and as well the batteries and battery charger. Towards the front of the trailer, three-way switches, making it practical for entry of both side doors, a hinged staircase with railings, and note the screen doors on the main door allowing breeze and ventilation on a nice day. On our front wall we have our electrical panel. Beside the panel we have our generator switches, load leveling, stabilizer controls, and battery charger system. At the front of the trailer we have a mount fully wired and ready for a TV screen. Towards the ceiling we have 12 volt dome lights 
power ventilated roof vents, a 13,500 BTU air conditioner slash heater, and there's two of them. All lighting is LED, 48 inches long, creating a very bright and workable office space. Along the street side, we have screen slider windows, overhead storage, and under shelf 12 volt desk lighting. The desk area has electrical receptacles and Cat5 wiring. Aluminum overlaid worktops, the Easy Stack drawer system, We are now focusing on the street side of the trailer. Overhead, we have useful binder and book storage. Another slider screen window. And the back wall is designed to accommodate large paper printer, IT rack, and a unique storage area in the rear corner with slide out trays and a hinged overhead door. Towards the bottom, more additional storage and roll out tray. As you can see, we make use of every corner and available space in these trailers. Towards the back corner, we have more additional hooks now for a tour of the exterior of this trailer. Starting at the rear, we have a remote camera, 12 volt amber flashers, 12 volt scene light, power and USB ports, LED marker and DOT approved lighting, Hydraulic corner stabilizers, all aluminum frame, galvanized wheel chocks, and our unique Easy Stack underbody storage drawers. Towards the front, an all aluminum diesel tank and storage shelf. And in this compartment is 12 volt lighting. Behind the fuel tank is the hydraulic pump for the stabilizers. We are now at the front of the trailer. Inside this Easy Stack generator cabinet is a 10 kilowatt Onan generator. A fully electric front stabilizer leg and pintle hitch. On the curb side of the trailer, we have two entry doors with staircases. Again, the Easy Stack underbody drawers. 120 volt and IT portals in fully weatherproof receptacle covers. So that wraps up our live demo of our two trailer walkthroughs. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know 15 minutes is very short, uh, but I hope you learned a lot on what we could do for you. Continue with the questions. We're also available on an online chat throughout the whole uh, day today and the next couple days. Yes, thank you, Ashley. That was our pleasure to be with you today at the Work Truck Show the next best thing to traveling. However, we are looking forward to come and seeing you in person again. And thank you very much for joining Work Truck 2021. Thanks everyone. And special giveaway, we're giving our new under seat for any crew cab pickup truck. Thank you for attending. Your name's gonna be automatically into the draw. We'll be doing a live draw and we'll put it onto our social sites. And uh, stay tuned for the lucky winner. Thanks so much guys. Thank you.